So we have a document here with a bunch of different email addresses and some of them are hard to spot. So in this lesson, we are gonna be creating a UI button that we can click and press, and that will highlight all of the email addresses that are currently available within the doc. And this is also a useful function if you want to set using a regular expression to search for your body contents of your document and also how you can apply styling to a selected selection from your document object where you've got the start and then also the end position of the element that you want to highlight. So that's all coming up in this lesson. Go ahead and create a doc, and I'm just going to be using a dummy talk doc with some lorem ipsum text. And I do have some email addresses contained within the document, and we're going to be selecting these and highlighting these. So some of them don't stand out because they're not underscored. Uh, they're just whatever the default styling is. We can clear the formatting, and that's going to get rid of any of the formatting on most of the emails. Uh, some of them are visible, some of them are not. So the objective is to create some app script that's going to be able to highlight and we're going to add a menu to the UI. So under the tools, select the script editor and within the script editor, first of all, we're going to set up the UI option. So give the script a name. I'm going to just call it emails. Create a function and this function by default, we're going to be using the on open, which is a function that's automatically going to run. So using the document app, because this is a bound script, so we have access to the UI, add the UI menu. And within the UI menu, let's create a menu. And for this menu, we need to add in a string value for the caption. So it'll just say emails and add item. And the item caption is going to be highlight, as we're going to be highlighting the emails. And then we need to have a function that's going to run, and I'll just call it highlighter. So it's going to be running whenever the highlight button gets clicked. And in order to add it to the UI, we just run the function add to UI. So we can run this and this is going to add the UI menu there, highlight. Right now it's not going to do anything. It's actually going to throw an error because we don't have a function called highlighter. So let's go ahead and create that. And within the function, create a function called highlighter. And now what we want to do is we want to create a uh, selection from the active document. So selecting the current doc, and then we want to get the body of the document. So using the document app, get the active document object, and you can log it out into logger, as you can see that you're going to be able to select the active document. So we can run the highlighter function, and there's our document object. So we're ready to actually select the body of the document. And the body is where all of the contents of the document are set. So using the document and then get the body method is going to return back the body object. And you can also output that into the log, uh, run the code. And now we've got the document body section has been selected. So that's going to contain all the document body. We want to run a regular expression. So this is going to be a regular expression that's going to be searching for email addresses. Uh, so you can set up your own regular expression. There's a number of them out there on the internet that you can select from. And we want to use this in order to return back some results. So let's create a variable called results. And then matching the content from the body, we want to get the body text. So within the body, get the body text value. And we can use the body and get as text. So this is going to give us a text value of that object. And for now, we can just comment that out and output the body text. And then from once we have the body text, then we can loop search through it and find a match for any of the email addresses. So, so far, when we run the code, we get the entire body as text. So we want to loop through that and get results. So selecting the results and then using the body text that we just got. That's a big blob of text that we were just looking at. And the match method, we want to match it to whatever the expression is. So that will return back a set of results that are going to be matching. And this is going to be an array. So if there are items that match the selection, so there's the four email addresses that we have. If there's others that are email formatted, so if we had an example of email.com, 
and we run the code again. So now we're picking up any email addresses that are within the search results. So what we want to do is we want to create a way to highlight them. So let's create a first a uh, style object and just create it as a blank object. And then within the style, we're going to add to the style properties. So using the document at attribute, and then these are the different properties. So we set the foreground color, and this is going to be expecting a hex value. So set it up. Uh, so just set the foreground color so the text will be black. Uh, also, we can also set a background color. So the same way. And you can set any number of these properties. So I'm setting the background color. And I'll make the background color yellow so that it'll stand out. So yellow with black text. Uh, next up, we want to get all of the paragraphs so that we can uh, select the paragraph content and loop through them. So these are all the paragraphs that we have. And we want to select it. So get the paragraphs from the body object. And this is going to give us a result to loop through so we can loop through all of the paragraphs that are available. Let's run the highlighter. And that gives us all of the paragraphs on the page. And we'll create a loop through them. So looping through all of the paragraphs using for each, we'll return the paragraph back as a result for P. And then we also want to loop through all of the results so that we check for all of the email addresses within each paragraph. So using for each, and then this is going to be the result value. And that's actually going to be the email. So maybe I'll just call it E. So that's the email. That's the found email address. And now we need to get the text location. So the text location of the email, we can use the paragraph and then the find text method in order to find the email address. And within the logger log, let's log out the text location. And we can use the text location and apply styling to that. So save it, run the code again. And so there's all of the range elements there. And so those are representing those found values for the location. So we want to check to see if the text location is not equal to null, so if it does exist, and the text location has a get start offset value, and it's not equal to negative one, so it does actually exist, then this is where we can select that text element and highlight it. So right now, when we, we did see that we did within the logger, we got a few null results. So we want to get the element object for the text location. So this should highlight only the ones that are matching. So we've got all of that text coming back there. And we can now select that text element and highlight them. So those are the matching results where we can set the attributes and the attribute value is going to be the text location get offset start. So that's the start position where we want to start the highlight. And then next is the text location and get the offset inclusive end value. And then the style that we want to apply is going to be within the style object that we just created. So now when we run the highlighter, it should be highlighting all of the found emails. Can clear the formatting, run the code again, and it applies the highlighting to those emails addresses. So that's finding all of the emails. And then of course you can do more with the email addresses. Uh, it's just going to be contained within the results array. Uh, so this is just one of the options if you wanted to highlight them. So now when we save this and we've got some email addresses, let me clear the formatting. I'll add in a few other emails and uh, let's set this up as black. So we're not able to actually see them and just randomly adding in some emails here. So let's try that one more time. And now we've got some additional addresses there and we'll do the highlight. And now it's highlighting all of those email addresses that I just added in. So that's how you two can use uh, regular expressions to get a pattern match within the body of your document and then apply some styling to the selected elements that are found 